golf over the last few years has definitely become more of an athletic endeavor. You don't have to look like a football player to, to play golf, but at the same time, there are certain things you need within your body to, to help you swing the right way. Obviously, distance is more important than ever. If you can develop speed and explosiveness, that's a really good thing for your game. So I like to feel springy, explosive. Um, you know, I do a lot of that stuff in the gym, whether it's plyometrics, box jumps, you know, different rhythms of exercises, whether it's, you know, three seconds down, one second up, stuff to really try to train that, that speed element of things. So, you know, even landmine sort of exercise stuff, um, you know, holding one end of the barbell, the other end's in a corner and, you know, moving that, that end of the barbell very quickly with a little bit of weight. They're the sort of things right now that I work on to try and keep that explosive element up uh, in the off season. When I started to work out and, and you know take that side of the, the game a little more seriously, I think one of the things I was lacking at that time and which really helped me get more distance straight away was more stability rather than speed and explosiveness because I think most people can create a little bit of speed, but I think what happens at impact is you know there's a lot of people that aren't stable enough and, and can't stabilize the right areas of their body to keep that speed going all the way through impact. So you know honestly I would work on you know, some one leg stuff, trying to get your core a little stronger. Um, it sort of seems boring at the start, but it can it can make a big difference. The journey that I've been on is trying to uh, stabilize, being able to stabilize everything in my body. And once I can do that, then you can go on to more, you know, dynamic exercises where, where you're training a little more speed and explosiveness. But, you know, if you have stability in your, in your body, you know, that translates very well into your golf swing. What my workouts look at, look like right now, which is you know in the off season compared to you know when I'm right in the middle of things, it is it is different. The workouts in the off season are longer; they're a little more draining, a little more taxing. You know, you're building up a little bit more capacity so that when you're in season, you know all you're trying to do is maintain what you've built built upon in the off season. It's very hard to to make any sort of gains when you know what you should be focused on is you know spending time on the golf course practicing playing but you know you still have to spend your time maintaining what you've what you've tried to build and uh, so yeah I mean my, my workouts in the off season look you know quite a lot different to, to how they look uh, in the middle of it.